I am Apostle Cedric and I welcome you to this channel. The Lord is about to speak to you so strong and it will change the course of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God says this is why you failed again. This is why you failed again. You see, failure is not truly failure unless he that failed does not learn from the lessons of his failure. You see, what we all picture as success is a man who has never failed before. But every success today is an ex-failure. Any man who is at the paramount seat of life today was once on the dung hill. I want you to understand that God is still in the business of lifting men from the bottom to the top. But why do you try again and fail again and try it again and fail again? Nobody likes failure. Failure brings grief. Failure brings pain. Failure brings anger. Failure brings anguish. Every time you fail, you feel less of yourself. As a matter of fact, you cannot arrive at your destination if you keep failing today. So why are you failing again and again? Every success today is an ex-failure. Number one, why did you fail again? Number one, because you did not learn from the lessons of the previous failure. You see, life can only be understood backwards, but will only be lived forward. Every time you fail and don't learn why you failed, you just wasted that failure. There's an experience that that thing had to teach you. If you do not learn from that experience, you will have to repeat it over again you see in the classroom of destiny you can repeat the class until you learn the courses and you validate them you can never be graduated because god loves your face you will only go forward because you have validated the course of destiny why did you fail again you did not learn why you failed the first time it's okay to fail but in principle a great man said i don't fail i only learn in other words i learn how not to do it i learn how it does not work i learn how this thing cannot proceed one you did not learn the lessons of your previous failure number two you did not put in the right principles for success you see principles you make men principal whatsoever we use for you you must properly apply the principles of god when you fail in applying principles you will fail in destiny why did you fail again the inappropriate application of principles when you don't apply the principles of god you will always suffer casualty in life what did i not do what laws did i ignore if you don't know them you will fail again number three you ignore god at the beginning of your efforts every time god is not the alpha god will not be the omega god is jealous and in his jealousy if you don't call him to begin you should not call him to continue god does not continue what man started without him god only participates when he was invited on the initial in john chapter 2 there was a wedding at canaan he says and mary was there but they invited jesus so when there was no wine they called for him and he showed up why he was invited from the start of the wedding if you start without god be sure to fail because god will not include himself in something that ignored him at the beginning why did you fail again number one you did not learn the lesson of failure number two you did not apply the right principles number three you did not begin with god i declare and decree let the demon of failure lose you and let you go may you have the diligence to apply the laws of god which will propel divine success in the mighty name of jesus christ you will not fail in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Salam.